Pat, thank you for speaking with me. First of all, could you tell me about your experience as a patient? Right. I have panhypopituitarism, which was mm -hmm. caused by um, a pituitary abscess. Mm -hmm. My first symptoms appeared in 1985, and I was finally diagnosed and operated on for this in 1986. Mm -hmm. And how easy did you find it to find good information about your disease, and what sources did you find useful? At that time, there was no information at all about pituitary conditions, mm -hmm. but in 1994, so eight years after my diagnosis and surgery, I was told about the launch of the Pituitary Foundation, who I contacted immediately. This charity was the only source of information, and I found their early leaflets and support invaluable to help me to understand what had happened to me and all about the pituitary gland. Okay, and what do you see as the key areas where more support is needed for patients with pituitary disorders? The key areas um, we have in place, such as the helpline, our booklet library, Pituitary Life magazine, we have a nurse helpline and website and forum, they, they are crucial, they're very much needed. For face-to-face -face support, our local support groups around the country enable patients and their families to meet others locally on a regular basis. We realise that more support should be available for parents and families of child patients and also for teens and young people. This is something we would love to be able to do in the near future. And how did you become so heavily involved in the Pituitary Foundation? Well, I knew how difficult it was for me without support before the foundation began, and I offered to volunteer with them almost as soon as I was put in touch. Um, I was asked to launch a local support group near to where I live, and I ran that for five years. Um, I was the area coordinator. And then a position for coordinating um, a number of local support groups in the north of the country came up and I applied for that and I was very fortunate to get that position. I worked on that project for three years and then I was kept on for a further three years and um, the project um, was additionally that of early awareness um, and diagnosis and so I, I helped to support the north local support groups and also worked on early awareness. Mm -hmm. I think my passion and commitment grew. My skills in supporting and talking to people led me to be offered the post as patient support manager, which has done for almost six years now. I've learnt a great deal about patients, the conditions affecting them, and I've been privileged to have excellent training and support throughout the Pituitary Foundation to increase my skills. Okay, and what has your involvement with pharma been in this time? Well, part of my current role is to raise awareness of the Pituitary Foundation through attending endocrine exhibitions and events and to give talks about the patient experience to pharma companies. I feel my involvement helps to bridge the gap of knowledge about the patient experience, taking the drugs and how they actually feel within their conditions. And because I have first-hand knowledge of taking a broad range of pituitary hormone replacements and talk to many patients about their experiences, I can represent the foundation and the work we do. And would you like to see Pharma getting more involved with the foundation? Oh, very much so. I feel it's essential that Pharma gain a good understanding of what their products mean to patients and the effects brought about by taking these. In turn, it's just as important for us patients that pharma are given this awareness from their perspective as a patient. Pharma are obviously important to us in terms of informing and working with us about new or existing products so that we can inform our community most appropriately. And from your personal experience and also with your broader view of patient needs from the work you've been doing with the Pituitary Foundation, how do you think pharma could better meet patient needs in this area and improve the patient experience? I believe 
working with us at the foundation to gain insight into meeting patient need, supporting us to improve the experience in terms of patient recruitment and interviewing, in researching drugs, packaging, patient information leaflets. We strive to improve patient experience in every area from early diagnosis through surgery and on their journey. Throughout these stages, our services are comprehensive, but with pharma support, we can continue to improve them so that patients gain much more. And examples of, of the work we do and with support from pharma, we have uh, a magazine called Pituitary Life, which is highly valued. In fact, um, we ran a survey through our membership and they said it was the jewel in the crown. And this offers the patient the latest news on all things pituitary and the farmer can, can really support that and become involved. Our booklet library, we update our information regularly to keep abreast of the appropriate facts. And we hold conferences, um, pituitary conferences, which are an opportunity for many patients and families to come together and learn and share and um, pharma can support those too with information um, and assistance to us. Pat, thank you for your time and for your insights.